Hi Norbert here, energy engineer at in video number 34A, explaining how to live on 12 volts of a car battery instead of on the high voltage of the public grid. This is the introductory video of Wednesday. The details will be in a Saturday video. Why should you be interested in 12 volts DC, which a car battery gives? Is it even practical to live on a 12 volt battery instead of on the high voltage? I hear you say, uh, no, that's not that practical, because all the devices which you can buy, they work all on high voltage, AC, alternating current, right? Uh, no. Look to this introductory video to learn how to live on 12 volt DC. I found many devices of everyday life on 12 volt DC. You can find them in the description for a good price, and not higher because you can purchase them through my link. On Saturday I will show you more in a detailed video. This video is specially dedicated to the developing countries where so many people have difficult access to energy. Even if many of them are connected to the grid, there are so many blackouts that people cannot really count on it. The same arguments are valid also in some extent to uh, richer countries. So if you don't want to be 100% dependent on the infrastructures or even you want to live off-grid, then look to this video to learn how practical and also rational it is to live on 12 volts DC, at least for the most essential functions. Please hit the subscribe button with notification in order to participate in 360 degrees innovation at your home and welcome the energy transition in your family. So let's start with the main theme of the video. What are the main advantages of living with on 12 volt of the car battery? Of course, I intend not only the battery, but also the whole technology to keep the battery charged. Otherwise, you have very quickly a game over. Number one is security of supply. The advantage here is to have energy also during a blackout. You charge it when the grid is active, the grid or the sun or the wind or the river, and then if there's a blackout, you can sit on the battery and you can continue to consume. Number two is safety. The most common and also cheap form of energy storage is the 12 volt battery on LED. But now we have also the lithium battery, also on 12 volt. This tension of 12 volt is too low to be dangerous on the touch. However, like with the grid, you must not connect those two poles of the battery with metal because that can be very dangerous if you don't have installed a fuse. And number three, we have the cost. A battery can supply a very high power during a short time. You can convert this power of the battery to a high voltage, but then you must pay much more, even if you need it only a short time. So this high voltage inverter is a kind of bottleneck. What will you show next Saturday? I will show the whole list of devices, even the washing machine on 12 volt. You can find uh, of course more of those devices in my description, but also in uh, stores for car accessories. For developing countries, I think that the top 5 list of priorities for electrical devices are light, fans, pumps, refrigeration and telephone charging. All these devices have a very modest consumption, so a battery will not be too expensive. You will also learn how to put the components together, and even how to generate 24 volts with a battery of 12 volts, so that you can supply uh, power to laptop, computers and televisions, which work very often on 19 volts. So that's the end of the video. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and come back on Saturday. You can also join my Facebook group and see the link in the description. I wish you good energy.